And even though it doesn't feel like the holidays just yet, they'll be here before you know it. Or maybe you're just one of those people counting down the days until everything just smells like peppermint. But something people either love or hate around this time of year is buying gifts. OK, so here to help you stay on budget and develop a gift giving strategy is money and business uh, business expert Derek Kinney. CEO of Good Money Framework. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Derek. My pleasure, Matt. Great to see you. Awesome, awesome. So we want to talk about, you know, first question is, you know, that this could be a stressful time for folks. Yeah. You know, what would you uh, give, you know, as far as advice, uh, money-wise, about how they can reduce that stress whenever they're buying gifts? Yeah, that's the goal. You know, we think about Christmas time, the holidays. It's supposed to be this joyous time, and it's often the most stressful time, and it's because there's so much money to be spent, Matt. And here's a way to alleviate that. Consider having a name drawing where if you're below a certain age in your family, everybody buys gifts from you, the grandkids, the nieces and nephews, all the cute people in the family, you know, but people above that age consider drawing names where everybody gets at least one gift. What that does is it reduces down how much you have to spend, reduces down the stress you've got, and it can save you quite a bit of money. So it can alleviate a lot of the stress and anxiety many people have to buy all these gifts this time of year. And your next tip, if you want to decide that you're going to buy a gift or give the gift of time, I mean, tell us about that, you know, in, in relation to what you just said. Yeah, so many people buy things and then the kids or the grandkids have broken the toy the next day and you wonder, what was that for? But instead, think about this and, and the time you've got now to do it. Think about an experience where you might say on a coupon card for your, your son or daughter mm -hmm. or grandson, granddaughter, hey, let's spend a whole day together. You get to pick anything you want to do, and the gift I'm giving you is the gift with me and you together of time. That's a great idea. So it lasts a whole lot longer than a toy does, but it creates this experience and a memory they're probably going to laugh about for a long, long time, and it can save you quite a bit of money as well. That's a good idea. Okay, so let's get to the, the nitty-gritty of things. Yeah. Saving money this time of year. What's the best way to do that? I mean, there's always tips every season and people come out and they say, this is the thing to get. This right. is a great way to, I mean, what's your advice just heading in? I mean, it's early. It's, it's only September, everybody, but yeah. uh, or it's about to be October. But yeah. what's, your, what's your advice just so far as we head that way? Well, there's 90 days. So we've got 90 days, three months is gonna go by so fast. Santa Claus makes a list. He checks it twice. You want to check your list more than Santa Claus does, Matt. And the key is you want to write down who are you buying gifts for. You want to write down if it's five people, ten people, who it is, and then the exact item that you want to buy them. And what this does is now it gives you the gift of being a price-reducing detective to say, as I see sales, as I see opportunities, I'm going to buy that when it's a good price and just reduce it and take it off my list. So it's going to help you save money. You won't get pressed for time at Christmas Eve when you haven't bought anything, you've been buying all the time along the 90 days, save you money and stress. What about if you're financially tight? Like, what would you tell people uh, about that when it comes down to, I mean, making the list is great, but are there any other tips? Yeah, yeah, the bottom line here is, and this is a bit counterintuitive, I always like to say I prefer no credit card debt, but if you've not saved, if you have no money at all, make it your goal to maybe put less than half of what you would normally spend on a credit card as opposed to everything. That's still a win. Or again, give the gift of an experience, but also you can come clean to people and say, look, I haven't saved a lot this year. Things are tight. It's going to be kind of a leaner Christmas. People are okay with that. Frugality is much more accepted these days. Being honest can actually save you money as well. I like that. I like that take. <laughs> but the biggest thing to avoid is breaking the bank or accruing any sort of debt. It is, and the number one mistake, Matt, that everybody makes is, and to avoid this, don't buy gifts to impress people. When you buy gifts to impress, you're gonna spend more than you have, you're gonna pay for it for Christmases yet to come, and you're gonna regret what you did Christmas night. Pay what you can afford, buy a gift that people like, but be comfortable and be you. Fantastic tips from Derek here. While we're